Hey guys, this is Nick with Atomic Underground. Welcome to Season 1, Episode 8. This is where we open up the escape shaft for the first time. This is Episode 1 of 2. So this is where the escape shaft is on the property. Right now it is 60 feet deep total. The uh, top 15 feet had concrete. That's been all jackhammered out. It's just gravel the rest of the way down, and that water is no longer there. So what we're doing is opening up the escape shaft on level 3 of the Launch Control Center. That's about 55 feet underground. Uh, we had one of our YouTube viewers came out help me out. Uh, we actually had two um, over a couple days. And uh, this video is just a uh, time lapse of us uh, cranking away on the uh, escape shaft itself. So what we're doing here... Um, we used a pipe wrench. There's a top and bottom... Um, thread there that opens up kind of a clamshell around the door and it takes probably a hundred to 150 full turns on each one of those to get the door open um, the more we got it open the more water we got out which is good uh, it kind of lets us know what the water level is on the other side I was able to shake the door so we know that it's not gonna explode open um, there's no water pressure behind it there's a lot of air in there as well um, between that and the vertical shaft that goes up to the surface, there's about 10 feet of horizontal pipe. Um, what we're looking for is one of two things. Either we open it and all the mud and stuff that's in there will come out into level three. Uh, it creates a huge mess, but it would uh, actually be quicker to get the shaft open. Um, the other thing is if uh, that mud is not liquid enough, we can come in from the top and bucket all the mud out all the way down. Um, that would be the cleaner way to go, but it's only a three foot pipe, so it takes a long time to do that. Um, really, either way, we gotta pull the material out 60 feet. Um, so yeah, we're just using some of the water from the, the coming out of the shaft to clean off the threads top and bottom um, the water there on the bottom really cleaned the bottom ones for us but the top towards the end of the video here you see it actually took two people to move the top thread and we just didn't want to do any damage to it and we also had another uh, event happen on site which will be in a separate video which made us uh, stop for the day in the next couple months, we're going to finish getting this open and hopefully uh, cleaned out so we can use it for ventilation while we're scrapping out the site. So I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Colby who is out here helping me open the shaft. Uh, we also had uh, another viewer named Hunter who was there the night before, helped me out with a lot of stuff as well. Um, thanks guys and see everybody in the next episode.